Now that we are doing more and more on Canvas, particularly with weeks like this last one where we had four straight days of remote learning, I just wanted to remind everyone how you could go about checking your child's progress on Canvas. So if you haven't or if you have forgotten how to get there, you just come over here to the Waffle, the Google Apps, give that a little click, scroll on down and find Canvas. Then once that opens up, it should take you to the dashboard where you can find our homeroom class right here. Uh, your child's classes might look a little bit different than mine, but the homeroom one should be there. Or you can click on courses and it'll give you a list. The homeroom fifth grade Luger is the one that you are looking for. Now, once you get into that homeroom, I'm going to switch it to student view so we can see things from a student perspective. The easiest way to check to see if they are getting their assignments done or to see how they've scored on some assignments is going to be over here on the top right hand corner. The view course calendar is probably going to be the easiest way when we click on that. Now, remember, we're just looking at this from a test student, so this is not necessarily anyone in the class. You're going to see the different assignments that have been given and the due date that was assigned when I created them. Now, those due dates aren't anything that are hard and fast. I usually just throw the due date four or five days after it's assigned. That way, just in case someone is absent or they forgot their Chromebook or if it was a remote learning day and their Wi-Fi went out or something like that, you've got a few extra days to get that taken care of. Now, when we see these different assignments, you should notice right down here, this one has been crossed out. For this sample student, I went in and completed just this assignment. So if the assignment is lined out or crossed out like this, it is already completed and submitted. So what we're seeing here with none of these others being crossed out is this student has not completed any assignments, but this one writing. Now, if that's the case, I do not have a penalty set where if they turn it in after the due date that they lose points or anything so they can absolutely go back you know let's say they had some even from january that didn't get done they can click on that and it'll pull open a menu where they can go ahead and click on the assignment name and complete that assignment with no penalty to their score and i will get a notification that it's been submitted so we can get those scored for them now on the other hand if they have an assignment that is done like this poetry writing from last week and they wanted to see how they did you can click on that and then when you click on the assignment name instead of it taking you to a screen where the student can complete that assignment it's going to take you to the screen where you can view the results when we give that a click it's going to pull this up and you can see i just put in some generic practice 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 as the writing this was worth five points they only spent 28 seconds writing this paragraph so that's not very good they probably should have put more effort in that I guess that's my fault. And then I assign them one out of five in writing. There's typically no zeros. So obviously they didn't follow the prompt or anything, but this gives you an opportunity to see where your student scores are. Hopefully that gives you a little bit more information about where you can go to see if they have actually completed assignments or not. Remember, if they are crossed out with those strike through lines, the assignment is done. If it is not crossed out, that is an assignment that they still need to finish and they can get those taken care of with no penalty, even after the official due date. Nothing gets locked out. Those assignments are all still available the entire time throughout the grading period. So you can keep track of their scores. You can keep track of their assignment completion. Just have them pull up their Canvas account on their Chromebooks or other device that you can get to Google with, and you should be able to keep an eye on those things.